So 0 0.048 into 0 0.49. We need to get the decimal point out of the divisor. So we need to move this decimal point one, two, three spots to the right. If we do that, we must also move this decimal point one, two, three spots to the right and put it here. But notice that we need to put a zero in here because this number becomes 490. So when this goes three spots to the right, this becomes 48. So we have 48 into 490. Now the magic that we did there is we actually, what we started with was 0 0.49 divided by 0 0.048. And we wanted to get rid of the decimal in the divisor so that we could actually use some long division. And we needed to multiply this divisor by a thousand so that this decimal point would move three spots to the right. And when we do that, multiply by a thousand, it will move one, two, three spots to the right to give 48. But we must also multiply the top by a thousand if we multiply the bottom by a thousand. Because a thousand over a thousand is one. We've multiplied this fraction by one, so we haven't changed the value. We've just changed what it looks like. So 490 divided by 48 is the same thing as 0 0.49 divided by 0 0.048. So 48 into 49 goes one time, one times 48 is 48, then subtract and we get one, then bring the zero down to get 10. 48 into 10 goes zero times. Zero times 48 is zero, and we um, subtract to get 10, and bring down a zero. Now 490, everybody remember, is actually 490 point. Zero, 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 zero is the same thing. It has these like invisible zeros here that we just don't write because we want to save ink. But there are a bunch of zeros there we can use. So we got to bring this. So we brought this zero down for here. We got to bring this zero down for this one. And 48 into 100 goes twice. And this decimal point must go up here. Now 2 times 8 is 16. Carry 1. 2 times 4 is 8 and 1 is 9. Now subtract. 100 minus 96 is 4. And I bring this zero down, zero. 48 into 40 will not go, it goes zero times. Zero times 48 is zero, and subtract to get 40. Now, we need to bring this zero down to be 400. So what's 48 into 400? We can kind of, right, that's a good guess. So 48 is almost 50, so it's kind of like 50, or, or it's kind of like 5 into 40. Think about 5 into 40. It's about 8 times, right? So 8 times 8, 64, carry 6. 8 times 4, 32, and 6. Um... Uh, let's see, 8 times 4 is 32, 32 plus 6 is 38, yeah, good point, and subtract, and we get 16, and so on. Now we're asked to round to the nearest hundredth, so we only have to stop at this digit anyway. So the question is, we have to stop at the hundredths point, do we round up or down? We round up, and so that becomes 10.21, because there's an 8 in the thousandth spot. So we round up to the hundredths, and that gives us a 1 there. So the answer is 10.21 when we round this to the nearest hundredth. If we kept doing the long division, we'd go on forever and ever. So we've got to stop at some point.